All right, good morning everybody. Today we're gonna install our Max Fan Deluxe ceiling vent fan. I bought the deluxe version, model 7500, I believe. Comes with a remote control. It does uh, both fresh air in and an exhaust feature. It has a remote control. I believe it has 10 speeds, so we're gonna put that in the van today. Um, basically what that's gonna involve is cutting a hole in the van roof. Um, once we do that, we're going to put in a gasket that I bought to meet the, the dimensions of the roof better so it doesn't have any gaps or anything like that. So it's just like a little template in there that fits the grooves on the top of the roof. And we'll install that and then we'll place the fan in with some adhesive and some screws. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty straightforward installation. Don't expect any problems. Let me just go through um, what I've got here. So of course, uh, we're going to need the drill and the jigsaw to mount it. Um, that is the trim plate that goes from the inside of the van to trim out from the inside to make it look good. There, of course, is the fan itself. This is the trim ring that goes on the outside of the van uh, at the roof line. Got some butyl tape there. Talked a little bit about this little template I bought off of eBay. Basically what it does is it matches the ribs on the top of the roof so it's you have an even mounting surface here so when you mount it on the roof you've got a flat surface here and these ridges basically correspond to the ridges in the roof line so it's kind of a cool idea. Um, you're going to need a little bit of lap sealant to um, make it waterproof. I bought some longer screws to mount it into the van. I bought stainless steel so they wouldn't rust. The reason I bought some longer screws is because now I've added that little template so I'm going to have to go through both the Max Air template as well as the one that I bought. So I had to buy a little bit additional screws there. That sealant um, is to mount the um, template to the van. And then of course there's the kit that came with the uh, Max Air fan unit. So I'm going to shoot a video, watch the installation. I don't really anticipate any problems. Um, I'm going to use a jigsaw to cut it out. I'm going to go get a metal cutting bit this morning from Home Depot or Lewis and make sure I have the right product so I don't, uh, so I get a clean cut and don't have any issues there. Anyways, looking forward to it today. Should be a perfect day to put in the fan and uh, take a look at the video. And if you have any questions, give me a holler. Thanks, guys. All right, so we've climbed up on top of the roof here, and uh, let me orient you a little bit. That's the front of the van, this is the rear. We're gonna actually place the fan in the back over the bed. Um, we're not gonna put it up front just because we're not doing a lot of cooking here, so I don't anticipate exhausting a lot of cooking fumes or anything like that. Um, the general feeling is if you have windows in the front, you want the fan in the back to pull fresh air through, so that's kind of what we're gonna go with. Here's this template I bought. And you can see here what it does is it fits basically on the grooves of the van like that. So you have a flat mounting surface to put the fan on. So the goal is, is to um, screw this down first. We're gonna add some adhesive so it's nice and watertight. And then we'll just use the standard equipment that came with the Max Air fan and mount it on top of that. So you just kind of got to use this as a template. Um, the cool thing about this too, it also has the correct dimensions. So you can just take a pen and trace the opening there and then that will be your cut line. Um, once this is mounted and secured into the van, then we'll just use the stuff that came with the Max Air fan and mount it directly right on top of that, on top of that template. So um, enjoy the video. If you have any questions, again, uh, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer.